Now that we know some of the capability of functions in App Script, and we know a little bit about comments and how to draw them out a little bit better, and we also know some of the problems, let's look at a real-world example. So I'm going to create some uh, I'm going to create some data on circles here. So we're going to say the radius of our circles. We'll say we can go ahead and create a chart here: three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we could have a bunch of different radi radii. Uh, we could also have a column for circumference and we could have a column for area. Uh, so we could actually build these out and we could do something interesting here. So I'm gonna go into my script editor and we're gonna start off by creating a file level comment. Let's go ahead and we'll start over from scratch. We're gonna have no code in here. And I'm gonna create a js.comment that just says, this file contains functions for computing geometric uh, area and circumference for circles. And then we could have a file overview at annotation. This file contains geometric circle formulas. And we could have an author. We'll go ahead and put you can put your name in there. And we could have a version 1.0. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and start with our function. We'll we'll write the function and then we'll come back to the documentation. So I'm going to create a function called area and that is going to take in a radius. Now the formula for a circle is pi times radius squared. Um, we can do that a couple of different ways. You know, there's a math dot, so App Script has this math library built into it, so we can return math dot pi. Radius squared is just radius times radius. There's two different ways we can do that. We could use math.pow and we could say uh, radius raised to the power of two is what that will do. Or we can just do the much more straightforward radius times radius. And this is going to give us an area now. Um, now, this is a pretty straightforward function, but it does perform some basic mathematical calculation. Let's go ahead and document it. And we will say this function returns the area for a circle with a particular radius. And we'll pass in, we'll use the parameter, we're gonna make that a number, and we're going to say it's radius, the radius for this circle, and we will return a number, the area for this circle, and we will go ahead and put in a custom function tag or annotation here so we can identify that. Now we can come back to our spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and give this a name. We'll call this circle functions. And if we go back to our spreadsheet, we can use we can fill in the area. We'll just use area and we get that parameter. Pow. We get the area for this circle. And we can go ahead and enter all of those and you can see here. Now we could actually probably create a, a nice little chart or table to identify how the the area of a circle uh, varies in relation to its radius. Um, so we've done that. Let's go ahead and create a, a circumference um, circumference function. We'll create a function. We'll call it circumference, and we'll pass in a radius. And here, the formula for a for the circle is two times pi times radius, or the diameter, or diameter times pi. So we could actually compute the diameter. Var diameter is equal to radius times two. Then we could return diameter times math.pi. Now we have a circumference function. Uh, oh, we got we misspelled something here. We should make sure we correct that. Return diameter times math.pi. Now let's go ahead and document this. We'll say this function returns the circumference for a particular radius. And we will pass in a param here that's a number, radius, the radius for this circle. And we will identify that this is going to return a number. Let's go ahead and change that to number. The circumference for this circle. And we'll also mark this as a custom function. And we come back to our spreadsheet. We'll give it a name. And we'll fill in our circumference. So you can see now we're going to get that function. And we can just pass that in. 
we can copy this all the way down using our little uh, little crosshairs icon and now we fill in all those values so we could actually just select all of this data now insert a chart and once the charts load well you can see this is an interesting one just picking out the default column chart we could also use a line chart it's going to show us how this changes. So this is actually kind of an interesting mathematical exercise because now we can see exactly how the radius is going to affect our circumference, which is kind of linear. You can kind of see that progressing there. And then our area, which is going to get larger much more quickly. Uh, and we could add more and more values to this. You know, if we select these two, uh, we can drag that down a little bit further and we can see how this increases and how that changes. And all we have to do to modify that, if we edit our chart, we can change uh, the amount of data that we're looking at just by changing that data range. We'll say C25, and now you can see even further how the area increases in relation to that radius and in relation to that circumference. So kind of an interesting little example on how we can actually build out a full function file uh, in our, our script editor, as well as kind of use that in, in a real world example. Thanks for watching.